What I have here is a Geiger counter. A blank screen. Every click means that it's detecting radiation. Yep. That's an ionization event. The clicks the now click aren't very scary, counts. though, because it's normal for there to be a small amount of background radiation. Yep. What isn't normal is this little box. <laughs> Whatever's a in lot of here clicks. is extremely rare. You should probably adjust your settings so you can actually just tell what's going on. ...active, and it's worse than when I tested nearly pure uranium. So uranium actually isn't that react radioactive compared to other radioisotopes because it has such a long half-life, about 5 billion years. But anyway, now to open it up. What is this? Inside, it doesn't actually look oh, very scary. Looks like radium watch dials. Yeah, that's on the order of a million times more radioactive. And it's just some small pieces of metal in an old plastic container. Now to open this container and see what it is. He's using gloves, that's good. And it's just a bunch of old watch dials. At first, Made out of radium. it might seem a bit weird that these would be so radioactive. The infamous but radium girl story. Any old watch dials. They've all been covered with a paint containing radium, which is an extremely radioactive element. What's interesting is that if I blast them with UV light, they fluoresce green, mm -hmm. but this has nothing to do with radiation. Nah, it's actually properties. just from something called a phosphor, and this one's made from zinc sulfide. This is the same zinc sulfide oh, that's, that's cool commonly looking. used to make glow toys, but when it's mixed with radium, it's able to glow on its own for years without ever having to charge it up. These were all made in the early or mid- The whole reason, just so you can see the watch hands and watch them glow. ...in hundreds, before they cared about how dangerous it was. Unfortunately, though, overall... Keyword, cared. They knew they didn't care. ...time, a lot of the zinc sulfide has degraded, and they're not able to glow on their own anymore. However, they're still extremely radioactive, and they have to be handled really carefully. Radium also emits more gammas than uranium, which is why it's going to read much higher on a detector.